For the second part, we need to confirm that the curve is an exponential one. And we need to use another graph to do this. To confirm that the graph is exponential, we need to plot a graph of lin i against t. And from this graph, we expect to get a straight line. If, if the graph is a straight line, then it is confirmed that the original curve was exponential. Why does this work? Because if we start with the equation of the original curve, the exponential decay equation, I is the initial current times e to the minus t over rc. And to see what happens when we plot lin i against t, we can take lin lins of both sides. Firstly, we can divide by i naught to leave the exponential alone there. Then we can take the lins of both sides. Oops i over i naught is equal to lin e to the minus t over rc. We can write lin i over i naught using the logarithm rules as lin i minus lin i naught and the, here the lin and the e cancel each other out so we are left with minus t over rc and rearranging this we can write lin i is equal to minus 1 over rc t plus lin i naught and we can see now that this is in the form y is equal to m x plus c, which is the equation of a straight line. So if we put lin i on the y axis and if you put t on the x axis, it should be a straight line with the lin i naught being the y intercept and the gradient is minus 1 over rc.